Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. My friend Momo posts a short video on his Facebook, and it's really interesting to make this puffy form. So I would like to take it into Rhino 7 and see what we can do with it. Are you ready? Let's get started. So Momo is a jewelry CAD designer and also teach Matrix and Rhino. If you're interested about Matrix, check out his uh, Facebook. You may find a lot of uh, interesting things. So he posts something really interesting uh, a weeks ago regarding using this uh, called Monster Mesh. Dot zone and it is quite interesting because you can actually draw anything it will turn it into puffy so what i like to do is try to draw something like a tropical fish so maybe something like this and the reason i find this really interesting is because and you may not like it and it, you can keep like redrawing if you want to it's better to have something to take a look next to you so you don't draw something really ugly like what i'm doing here all right good enough for the demonstration and you can come in here to inflate and they will become something like really puffy like that then what you wanted to do is you want to download it and you can save as a an OBJ file. So when you come into the Rhino, um, I'm using a Rhino 7 and you can import the piece and just open it and stay with the setting that whatever it is in the Rhino. And you have something like tiny uh, fish over there. Because we are not printing it, it actually doesn't matter, but I still like to have it like 3D scale up just a little bit to be the proper size, just in case I might need to print it out. And I also like the fish to be stand up, so maybe like this. Okay, so once we have that, and take a look on this, this is a bunch of a mesh, and you cannot edit in the mesh, at, at least in Rhino, it's really hard because any point that you're moving, it becomes like a really sharp point, and it doesn't look good, right? So we need these things to be editable. So now what we wanted to do, it's coming into the SubD tool in the Rhino 7. Then you have this is a quad remesh. So we can turn it into a SubD object. All right, so the preset is 2000 count and the size is like 50%. I like to do is we try to make it puffy anyway. So we want to have a last count and we want to preview on it. So it will give you a look for what is going to turn on. If it has uh, so many count there, and I, by the way, I want to convert it, it to the sub D. If it has uh, so many um, count and it's hard for you to do editing, we can even get it half of it. So I'm going to try five, uh, 500 and to see if it is more editable. It seems like uh, the point is less. Um, so I'm going to stick with this and just click OK. All right, the original one uh, mesh will still be there. I'm just gonna hiding it. All right, so now we have this really puffy things that we can keep editing on it. All right, for the sub D, I'm going to have a chorus detail to um, show you step by step from a very basic. It's coming up in a couple of months. Um, but I would like to uh, show you what we can do something really simple to edit this one. Okay, so for this one, um, you can get the fin out quite easy. What you wanted to do is come into the sub D selection tool, you have this face. And then notice that if I pull the face out, and I will have something like this. But this is like too big. I don't actually want them to be that puffy. So what I like to do is to pick up the surface I want, and I want to extrude them. So then when they extrude it, you got some extra coming out there. And you can also move it down a little bit and we want to keep extruded uh, or what you can do is this is a dot over there and you just keep dragging one more time and then I also want the 3d scale 
so it become more like a fin over there. Now, if this is like not in the right place, we simply just gonna move it to the back and maybe move it down, something like that. Okay, quite easy. All right, the other thing is we may need to have some sort of uh, eye looking things over there. So I'm gonna use the same command. I'm going to extrude it one more time. Sometimes it's hard to see the direction in the perspective view. So I'm gonna come in over here and maybe have this extrusion coming out like that. All right, so the extrusion right here, it's a little bit too extreme. So I'm going to tilt it to make it back like this. And I'm going to extrude it one more time. Let's extrude it over here like this. So now we have this eyes really sticky out and I wanted this more like an eyeball thing. So this face that I have, I'm going to have this coming back like this. All right, so feel like it's it's coming inside and you can see some surface al already overlapping. So we're going to pick up this eye and scale it down a little bit to create some sort of an eye effect. If that look good to you and let's pick up the only the edges there. And that's moving inside a little bit more and you may want to tilt it over here, bring up a little bit make it smaller and tweak it into the way that you like it. All right, so I want to bring this fish coming down a little bit and I like to have a uh, both sides is symmetrical. It's more like a mirror of uh, what we're doing in Rhino. But in this case, in the sub D, we are going to use the reflect instead of the mirror. So it's going to ask you like, what is your reflection point? I'm going to pick up on the X. You're going to ask you which one, which side you want to keep. So we're going to click on here and hit enter. Then you will have the fish. Um, kind of mirror to the other side. And the good thing about this is whatever you do on this side, let's say I'm, we're going to pick up this face. I feel like this need to come in, in a little bit more and the other side will uh, follow it. So let's say we want to do something like this. It will follow it. All right. So you can keep editing on that. If you feel like, okay, I'm going to do something. It's not that symmetrical. Maybe on the top, this, whatever this call the fin call, I wanted to move it to the left side. You can right click on the reflection and pick up the object. So you will cancel that reflection. Now I want to pick up all the point right here and then simply just bend it a little bit. We're going to use a regular bend and maybe bend it from here, going up, tilt it, something like this. So then it will be uh, something not symmetrical. All right, and then you can keep editing with the sub D if you want to. I just want to follow up Momo's uh, demonstration and continue to see what we can do in Rhino 7. Hope you enjoy this new feature and let me know if you like it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next.